Let's do this. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Fair and Forge Networks. In an attempt to keep making interesting video content for you people, and maybe explain a little bit of what it is that we actually do here, we're gonna show you a little science video. A little science. A little demonstration, a little if demo. you will. Yeah. So what we're gonna attempt to do is display the real world um, thermal expansion of titanium. 6-4 titanium, to be really specific. So what we've got going on here to attempt to help show this is this really awesome setup that we spent a lot of time doing. And <laughs> what we've essentially got is we've taken the LED and battery out of a little light. Maybe I'll turn it on. Ooh. And we've deconstructed it. We've attached one end of the lead to a piece of titanium. We made it stay here with some really high tech equipment. Um, and then we've taken the LED itself and clamped it onto another block so that it could move it around and that is attached to the other side of the battery. Now, the theory is that we're going to expand this titanium by hitting it up with a heat gun. It's going to expand in all dimensions. One of them will be the dimension that way, and we're gonna have contact, and the LED is going to light up. It should, uh, it's gonna be like Operation, the game from when we were kids. Let's see if we can get the, uh... So the, the gap there is about two thousandths of an inch, 0 0.002. Um, I have a piece of paper that I've been gauging it with, and every single time we try and do this, and I slide the paper through, I end up hitting it just enough to knock it out of alignment, and then the gap becomes bigger than two thousandths of an inch, and it takes a lot longer. So we're going for uh, some speed here, so we can make this reaction appear quick. So about it's about 60 degrees in the shop right now. This titanium is pretty close to ambient, and now we're going to make it a little hotter. Are you ready, Christopher? Ready. Almost there. Now we can keep filming this until this thing cools down and shrinks and turns it off. It's gonna take it a bit. I will though. We'll keep it going if you want to watch and, and go through. Oh, maybe oh. it's not gonna take that long. Hmm. Hmm. Right, we've done this a couple of times. We've run it and, uh, oh, look at that. No, you, we, we, are you sure? It could've cooled off pretty, pretty significantly. Maybe not. Now, if we wanted it to be really interesting, we could take a piece of ice and put it on there, and then it would definitely not turn on anymore. Definitely. It would shrink. Well, it would negatively expand very quickly. So there we go. And we're done. We've got that. Oh. <laughs> we're not done. Different rates of cooling. Cool. The hell you say, sir. That is, uh, that's my quick and dirty demonstration of the expansion of titanium. 
it's a real thing. And so we, we really only went up 40 or 50 degrees and that kind of temperature fluctuation is quite normal from the cool of evening to the hot of midday. You can see some places 50 degrees of temperature change. So this is something that I actually have to keep in mind when I'm designing knives and when I'm setting the tolerancing in parts that interact with each other, especially when they're dissimilar materials. So trying to make things too tight uh, can result in uh, lack of function at various temperatures. Something to keep in mind all the time. We like to talk about tight tolerances, tight tolerances, tight tolerances, but there's a reason to have not ridiculously tight tolerances. It aids in manufacturing and it accounts for the changes in the material that occur. Expansion, thermal expansion, is just one of the things that we're gonna talk about in this series. Some of the other ones are gonna be a lot harder to demonstrate for you, but we're gonna try and talk about compression because that's a thing. All things have a modulus of elasticity and we'll try and talk about that. It's gonna be hard, but I think we can get there so you can understand some of the things that I have to think about as I'm designing something and making stuff. So I hope that was uh, fun. It was fun for us, making weird electrical contraptions. <laughs> and um, as always, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and keep checking us out. Um, Chris, have you been putting Instagram stuff in the Deebly Dupes? Uh, no, but I will. You should. In the Deebly Dupes. Yeah, the, the thing that's down there. It's right down there. The description? Yeah, that's yeah. the one. <laughs> that thing. You've only been doing YouTube for how many years? I don't know when did what, when did I start when did when did I start doing eleven two thousand eleven seven I know six, how many years? videos do I have up there anyway like way over a hundred been making videos still suck at it though <laughs> all right peace out YouTube.